Hola amigos, I am here to do a chit chat, get ready with me. I was inspired by Nicolette, she always does these. I just wanted to go ahead and give it a try and also just talk to you guys because I don't think I've ever just like sat down and like talked to you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Put this on my hair, ears so it keeps the hair out of my face. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with a combination of my Kat Von D Locket Featherweight Primer that and then the mac strobe cream Hyd hydratant luminix okay there it is so i do a combination of both of these Alrighty. so i just recently celebrated my 29th birthday so i am on to my last year in my 20s and i'm super excited and just like a little bit scared because it's like i'm getting to that point where it's like you know shouldn't i be married shouldn't i have kids but you know what i'm just out here living life so. so i just have like what i usually have these two they are in travel bags because i've been going back and forth from my parents from my place and then i have all my brushes here all right so i have my little beauty blender and then i'm gonna get to my concealer which i use a combination of two concealers okay so the first one that i have is elf in the color light and then right afterwards i use maybelline new york it is in fair 15 and I do need to get a new one. It's pretty much out. But okay, like I was saying, yes, I did celebrate my birthday. I'm working on those vlogs. I've been so slacking on vlogging lately. Like it's been ridiculous. But I did for my birthday on my actual birthday. I went to an animal sanctuary. You guys know I absolutely love animals. And you know, I just wanted to do something different and i'm not i you know i'm i guess i'm i'm not at that age where it's like i want to go to the club or like go lounging or whatever and some may say well hold on you're young you can still do that without you know without feeling like you're too old and honestly i don't know I just I just feel that I'm just at an age where I just get tired easily you know and I'd much rather like get stuff done at home or you know just do like random adventures in the daytime you know when I'm not tired or not when I'm on the brink of being tired again not sleepy because everyone knows that I am an insomniac so but yeah I went to an animal sanctuary in Monroe here in Washington if you guys are <coughs> familiar with Washington. I'm nursing a cold right now. You guys, I am all over the place, but I just, I've never done one of these, so I never, I don't really have anywhere to start off or pick up from, so this is just going to be word vomit. Get ready with me is what it's going to be aptly called. Back to the animal sanctuary. Yeah, so I got in touch with Jen about a couple of months ago and telling her that I wanted to do a compassion day is what they call it. I have a couple people that come with me to volunteer on a specific day and then they give us certain tasks and the task that they had for us was the putting up Christmas lights, which was actually pretty easy. It was freezing the day that I that we volunteered on my actual birthday, November 4th. It was cold. It actually snowed. So that just gives you an idea of how cold it is. So I'm going to use the CoverGirl Clean Normal Skin Press Powder in the color 155 Soft Honey. And... Uh, I ran out of my blue one, which is the oil control one. So when I was at my parents, I went to Hagen's. Literally, their cosmetic little section was like small. So this is I'm I'm excited that they had this. But hold on, the color. It was really cool. When you have a compassion day, I'll go ahead and link them down below because I feel that you know people that volunteer there they just seem super duper nice. And volunteers do give so much, and that is not. A monetary value it's their time and time is like invaluable to me so I think that you know being a volunteer and I'm not you know trying to preach or you know whatever but I'm just saying like it's nice to volunteer it's nice to give back there are people there are animals that always need help in our world and I just feel that it's um it's just good you know it's good to to give back but yeah um it was nice Beside it being cold and the thing with this place is that they do not have a sign and they did have a sign people would just drop animals at the front of their gate and 
they would have to take them in because you know it'd be mean not to take animals in that are at your gate and it's you know they're right by the road so that's why they don't have a sign but i'll link them down below because i just really enjoyed the tour that we got before we did our volunteering they let us know like the names of the animals how they got there a little history of the whole place itself it's very informative at the same time very sad sometimes hearing all the backstories of these animals just you know it's 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 sad to, to hear that people treated these animals like you know the way that they did I am using the LA colors in black eyeliner pencil there's that and I'm going to use this to tight line the tops of my eyes so, so I'm gonna look over here just to I've always been the type of person to always support any type of volunteering just because I know that like so much is happening in your world and whatnot and that I know time is like really like it always slips away whenever you're like get up get all caught up in life but like if you take the time to slow down and like really see it from a different perspective and with volunteering I feel that people get to see that because it's like it's different when you volunteer if it's whether it be you know for different types of organizations i volunteered for you know teaching english i volunteered for like a couple of things with melissa as far as like you know at like a community garden and oh it's so loud community garden i volunteered at animal shelters countless animal shelters i volunteered like you know and i'm not trying to be like oh rah, 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 i volunteer i'm so cool no i'm just saying but it's super rewarding just to see what little time, like even just a little bit of time that you have can go so far. Go ahead and link them down below because honestly, they are a super, super, super cool company or not even company, organization, I'm sorry. And it's just really cool to see that they have so many volunteers. Um, they have, I think what she said was, I think 300. 300 volunteers that come in and out of that place so it's crazy to think that you know that many people are willing to give their time it's so awesome to see besides that besides volunteering the night before my birthday i went to unicorn in seattle and we did a countdown but we decided to leave a little early and go to sizzle pie if you guys have not been to sizzle pie um, i highly recommend it they started in portland so um, they just opened up one in seattle not too long ago so yeah check them out i think i i don't think i did a yelp review but by the way you guys i am catching up on my yelp reviews i found some new sense of what's the word new sense of um, inspiration ever since my whole thing with w which you guys i am doing a video on I did a yelp review my yelp review i think will be linked down below i'm not sure i think i decided to unlink it because i'm not elite so i'm just like eh. check out my review on w bellevue and then the thing with yelp is that it it only takes a certain amount of characters so i had to do another like a continuation onto the living room bar Check those two out if anything i'm going to try and link them down below i don't know how i can do that without just pulling up the business itself i went there for my friend sadie's birthday so um, i'm not going to go into it right now because that's just a whole nother video itself i'm currently working and editing on that video right now that should be out soon i think i'm gonna put that on my main channel because i feel like i touch more people on my main channel that sounds horrible but yes i feel like i reach more people so that's the better wording on my eyebrows i am using the j cat perfect duo eyebrow pencil in the color dark brown it's just in dark brown it's a dual has a spoolie on one end and then has a little like roll up thing on the other end so i'm just gonna go ahead and line my eyebrows Hopefully this isn't out of focus because of this thing. That was Friday night because my birthday was on a Saturday. And then Sunday we went to brunch at Sugar Factory in Bellevue. And if you guys don't know Sugar Factory, I heard about them for the first time ever in Vegas. They were located, I think, not Caesars Palace. Where were they located? Palazzo? I don't know where they were located. I think it was the Venetian. Yeah, I think because Caesars Palace is serendipity and serendipity is amazing their frozen hot chocolate they opened up one here in bellevue at the brat Braverns. Braverns. i still don't know how to pronounce it and i wanted to get a goblet for my 
birthday brunch so I went there and of course being me I did a little bit of research as far as like what goblet I wanted and I really wanted to get the Drake goblet but or because it had like cotton candy that like disintegrated into the drink itself but you know it um apparently the review said that it was like really really strong and I don't do good with like strong mixed drinks if anything so I settled on white gummy because it got a ton of good reviews or great reviews I'm sorry my English is just not there and actually really good it tasted like Sprite come to find out it has eight to ten shots in it yeah and I was, needless to say, I, I mean, I didn't drink the whole thing. I think I gave it to the guys almost towards half of it. Melissa sort of shared with me, but she had her own milkshake to nurse. So it was pretty much all me, which, you know, it's my birthday, whatever. I need to drink a little bit, I guess. But that was a monster drink, though. Like, I'm just saying, like, eight to ten shots, come on. And it tasted like Sprite, so you can just keep drinking it and you weren't, like, babysitting it. Like, you can drink it regular with your, um with your meal which I got an omelet and I barely finished it because or I had to take it home because there's no way that I could have finished that Hyphy's sleeping over here and she's snoring it was fun to to go there super cute place will I be back possibly to try another goblet the food was okay it wasn't anything like oh my god I have to go back for blah 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 but it'd be nice to go for like a you know a girl's day which I think that's what we're going to do we're gonna do that and then um, with my friend Melissa and Sadie you guys see them all the time in my vlogs I've been friends with them for the longest time Sadie I've been friends with since I was in seventh grade Melissa since we met in high school I think during tennis or something and we have this group called Julia Kashmir we haven't all been together like even on my birthday like one person was missing but I think we're gonna we're doing a secret Santa thing so I'm gonna vlog that for sure but uh, yeah, we have a group thing and me, Sadie, and or Melissa, Sadie, and I are go are the ones, are the girls of the group. The guys of the group are Larry, Eric, and Julian. So um, you'll see them in the vlog upcoming. And I think my brows are as good as it's going to get. All right, my eyebrows are done. As good as it's going to get. What I use um, is for powder. And I swear I didn't copy Glam and Gore on this. But I've been using the Tartlet palette. It's busted as hell because I take this everywhere with me. And this is the Amazonian Clay palette by Tarte. And I used Dreamer and Multitasker right here. Those two. And I use those to go ahead and as like brow powder. And then the I'm going to go ahead and bronze up. So I use my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny 720A. And you guys know I have been talking about this forever. I did break it so it like comes off. But it's still brand new pretty much. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. powder brush. The flat top. And I love flat top when it comes to bronzers. Just go ahead and shape this baby. But uh, yeah. So that was Sunday. And then Monday. What did we do Monday? Because I also had something on Monday. Oh, Monday I did a 29th birthday photo shoot in Bowen Creek Park, which is in where is it shoreline if you guys are familiar with that and you guys it was like the only sunny day and the leaves are all fallen on the ground and like the sun was shining through the trees and like reflecting off of like the orange and yellow leaves and it just made for like the perfect photo op like i am so happy with how they turned out and melissa had a camera that she wanted to test out so we went ahead and did that so that was pretty cool and then afterwards we went to a little cute Thai place and we went to Mel and Mia's in uh, I think it's Edmonds yeah in Edmonds it's a cute little pastry cafe shop and I wanted to go there for the ro the rainbow vanilla latte but I guess it's seasonal so they didn't have it so what they had was the rose gold latte and so we gave that a try and it's rose gold extracts with a rose I think it's rose infused coffee with gold extracts or something something super bougie and it was pretty good I will recommend the unicorn hot chocolate which is super cute super Instagram worthy for sure oh I'm sorry for blush I use color mates blushed I uh, don't know what color this is but this is a dollar store brand I have a bunch of blush that are not dollar store but I just like the color of this and then for my 
highlight, I go ahead and do Laura Mercier in 01. And it's just a little um, sample size. That's what it is. Where is that? It's really pretty. I'm not one for highlights that are like really really sparkly like I really like a sheen or like a satin finish to it I feel like the sparkle is just too much but you know I just really like the way it like shines you know there's that oh my god mmm 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 put it on the nose I don't know I really dig the nose the nose shine like a lot and I put it on my cupid's bow just to you know mix it up a bit you know oh too much that and then the last thing I do is I do my max fix plus there's that and what I do is I just spray it all over and then just pat my blending my blender beauty blender all over okay as we're finishing I just wanted to say or I wanted to let you know on Tuesday the day after my photo shoot Melissa had me or What's it called? I went with Melissa to the spa. She treated me out for one night at the spa. So it was pretty cool. It's Yuan Spa in Bellevue and it's a super cool spa. I went during a Tuesday so it wasn't too busy. But apparently she's been there on the weekend and she said it's pretty busy. So I'm glad that we went during the weekday. So that'll be fun. So I pretty much just talked about my birthday. <laughs> So yeah, that's what I did. The vlog will be um, coming up soon to follow. And uh, this is the finished look. Again, you guys, I am pretty plain when it comes to like my everyday look. I like to keep it to a minimal just so that it's like, you know, I don't want to do too much. Like I really don't contour like on a daily basis. I don't the concealer on my eyebrows. I, I just, you know, it is what it is. So yeah. All right. Well, I hope you guys like this chit chat. Get ready me with me. It's something different and I feel like I was talking too much but I mean I think that's what a chit chat get ready with me I'm gonna call it my word vomit get ready with me because I think that's what I was doing the whole time but yeah well I hope you guys like this video if you guys did go and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos by me click the rest subscribe button it would totally make my day and I will see you guys later bye mm.